official United States Civil Defense film. Our city is Our must cities fight. Must fight. They fight. That's right, Metroplex. Transform. Ooh, oh, I wonder if it. What is it? Damn, is it okay. Nice? So what? If, so what weapon does the city turn into? So I'm imagining like New York versus Boston in like a cage death match. What would, like, Statue of Liberty versus Arabeer? Right? Isn't that what we're talking about? No. Fighting cities? No. Like, what? Statue of Liberty will win, by the way. That's kind of a... Oh, hiya, friend. I was trying to get a hold of you. Park your hat and grab a chair. Somebody's from New Jersey. What's it all about? I got this story to do. I thought you might be the person that could help me most. Well, listen to one of these letters to the editor. Hmm? The story here, Fred, but I'm afraid it's not a very good one. I'm not at all sure it's the kind of story our readers would like. Listen to this. Dear Seven's Love, Dear I have editor, a grandmother who doesn't enjoy sex. Really oh. agree with your editorial. <laughs> your call for oh, defense volunteers was nonsense. It explains a lot. When this city is attacked, my plans right. are made, and they don't include waiting around to get killed. I'm going to take my family to a place in the country where we'll be Good safe. Good use! I think I'm as patriotic as the next guy. But I'd be pretty dumb to remain in this city when those bombs start falling. Actually, that is kind of a valid point. It doesn't matter. Hmm. Take to the hills. Yep, huh? I call my new city Rapture. Another member of the Take the to the Hills sea. fraternity. The hills are alive! Yes, I'm the afraid they are. Of the worst of it is that most of them are intelligent people. Good citizens, if you like. But they Did we already watch this, thinking. though? They're letting fear push nope. Them. Nope. I swear to God, I've seen this before. Treason. Thank God most people Having don't feel that way. Just riffing deja vu at this point. to make it a serious problem. I think that's what's happening. You know, could be. there's really nothing to be gained by They'll turning tail and learning after together. enemy attack. <laughs> Did we do all, one about atomic bombs? Be the most dangerous place you could be. Yes. Second, mass evacuation of cities this is just maybe doesn't work. Their parents in that Most same people story. don't know that for the reason that they've never talked about Mass evacuations of cities don't work. The third reason is the simplest of all. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Comes and we okay. <laughs> we just let everyone die. All right. <laughs> that's, that's convenient. You know, we must make them realize you know, there must be no That didn't just happen the somewhere. Their own experiences could help them realize it. For instance, it's easy to imagine what would happen if most of the people in town took to the highways all at once. That's well, why you gotta well, plan yeah, it out! That's not what an evacuation can. means! It's Unless not just... People yeah, better, you gotta have a bug out, out bag and like a plan B and a plan C and a meet up and... Jam the roads. Add to that the desperate fear and panic that it'd be pushing the mob. And mister, you've got a catastrophe on your hands. The civil defense people are just being realistic and not planning mass evacuations. No, they're not. The roads they, have they to be really kept open aren't. for rescue and for firefighting equipment. That means every car which is not officially authorized will have to be stopped and moved out of the way. So where? What, what are you, you going to do with them? As long as I forget what happened in the last war when some European people took the hills. I saw miles after miles of refugees trying to get away from cities under attack. Yeah, and they lived, didn't All they? All they did was choke yep. up the road so hardly anything could move. Even they couldn't get very far. This happened many, many times and in many different cities. It could happen in our cities. If this were tomorrow instead of yesterday, if this were our town and you or someone you loved were trapped inside of it, waiting frantically for help, that help would never come. What? The ambulances, rescue trucks, vehicles carrying supplies and equipment would be stopped cold in their tracks. Uh, they don't know how they roads could never work, get through to help the injured. Or planning. Or put out fires, or, 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 or bring or anything, fires really. bandages, and thousands of other things vitally needed in an enemy attack. Science! Must be Industry! So must the depots, hotels, and airports. Every available kind of transportation will be needed for emergency work. We know that mass evacuation can never be permitted if only for one reason, an all-important one. The fact that every able-bodied person is needed in the city before as well as after an attack. D dude, when a Putting nuclear fires, bomb example, drops, they're all dead. Require help from everyone. There's no we must really coming back from that. Just yeah, there's no after. find themselves right in the front lines. 
After an attack, I honestly yeah, can't make any jokes about this. I'm freaked the fuck out. And get back to our job. I think the plan here the is more. Do. Th this no is less happens, like the if the there's a nuke, and more like um, what you would do if. Let's pick a country that would never invade us. Actually, Morocco. Morocco. If Morocco like showed up really with a giant horse outside of the United States and was like, "Hey, guy, we built this giant horse for you," because really that's serious. my Moroccan accent. After an attack, uh, the then, do you like, even know where Morocco is, is on a map? I have no <laughs> idea where Morocco is. Over Are you confusing Arthur Morocco with Monaco? I don't know. Other European cities. The people didn't even want to leave their city. I'm just trying to pick, and it, who did leave, trying to pick a nationality that I wouldn't of offend course, so by... <laughs> well, like, congratulations, you failed! I think, so yeah, sorry. People should be moved voluntarily <laughs> Why don't, you could have picked, like, Not during an attack, Tatooine or something. <laughs> but the able but no, you have, like, oh, no, you don't want to piss off the Tatooine. Has they're, no respect at all they're the huts. They're, they're controlled like by the huts. Yeah. They're, you don't, you don't piss them off. You don't right, want to go right. after the cartel. Well, it's true. You know what, babe? What about Alderaan? They're, they're pretty harmless. Yeah, now! <laughs> hey, look, I know that we're all upset about Alderaan, <laughs> but all planets matter. <laughs> or was that too soon? That in deserting your responsibility, you failed no, no, that happened a long, long time family, ago. Your friends, a galaxy far, your far away. Yes. Deserting oh. our cities would be handing the enemy a victory far greater and less costly to them than oh, they could ever achieve. Oh, but we're only just learning about it now. <laughs> well, you know, the light only travels so fast. Oh, uh, okay. We need to destroy our will to fight. The enemy knows that a city deserted by its people is a city robbed of its power. Dude, it would be irradiated. They wouldn't be able to use it anyway. The enemy knows, as we do, that I mean, Fallout says city differently. Today, each of us depends on all the others. But then you have to deal with the directly or indirectly. Yeah, yeah. Each you have to stay long enough to train to the giant radioactive cockroaches that come after you on how to do their jobs. Gear our well, what about the Ravagers? On. To desert and would be to throw away our most feared weapon, America's Surprise. power to produce. There's no getting away from it. When the time comes, each one of us must stay in our cities and fight. Fuck that noise, I'm running. Way, nope, we're out. Nope. I'm out. Yes, I'll walk right. my ass over that fucking bridge, I'm out. Okay, I, live hey. I live in the country, so I don't really have anything to worry about. Time. And every last one of us will have to be ready to face what happens then. I'm, I know where I'm moving. Plenty of suffering, plenty of misery, broken homes, death. Two. Dangers that used to belong only to soldiers, but we've got to be able to take it and come back fighting. Everything we hope for, everything we believe in, everything America has fought for will depend on us and what we do. Oh, they their ideas no. were so quaint back then. A lot of people behind Look the at them just staring at with those, I, I want to bend you over this table eyes, just... Carefully measuring he, he, he is looking at him very intently. <laughs> I could put such a hat on you. They think they have the we could all die at any moment. Let's just give in. You and I give in to our passions. Has to examine their minds and hearts. Well, oh, can you hear own. me? Yeah. Yes. Oh, can you hear you? Oh, I said, can you hear me like six times and we responded. Um, I don't have video anymore. Oh. That's fine, you're not missing anything. Have you got it's almost guts? done. <laughs> like, do you have the guts? No! Not, not the kind of guts know. you want. No, I, no. 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 I just wanna- I, I just I, wanna I, live! I, 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 oh, I'm back at the end. This is the end. I just wanna live! I wanna live! I wanna live! I wanna live! I wanna live.